While we're on media and facts, have a look at how Elon Musk exposes the same sort of lazy narrative spinning by a BBC journalist. Do you see a rise in hate speech? I mean, I, I, just a personal anecdote. Like, what do, do you? I don't. P personally, my uh, for you, I would see I get I get more of that kind of content. Yeah, personally. Can, right. I, can you name one example? I, I honestly don't need. I, I, honestly, you I don't. You can't need, name I, a single example. I'll tell you why. Because I don't actually use that for you feed anymore. Because I I just don't particularly like it. But you and said actually, a lot of people. A lot of people are quite similar. I I, I only. Well, well, I only look well at hang my, on a second. You said you've seen more hateful content, but you can't name a single example. Not even one. I'm not sure I've used that feed for the last three or four weeks and I well, then how did you see the hateful content content because I've been I've been using I've been using Twitter since you've taken it over for the last six months okay so then you must have at some point seen that you for you hateful content I'm asking for one example right and you I, can't I, give a single and, one and, and, and I'm saying I, I, then I, I say sir that you don't know what you're talking about terrific stuff isn't it don't just accept their generalized claims ask them to back them up with facts it reminds me of the wonderful way the late great margaret thatcher stared down australian journo george negus why do people stop us in the street almost and tell us that margaret thatcher isn't just inflexible she's not just single-minded on occasion she's plain pig-headed and won't be told by you. Would anyone. you tell me who has stopped you in the street and said that? Ordinary Britons. Where? In conversation. But I thought you'd just come from Belize. Oh, this is not the first time we've been here. Will you tell me who and where and when? Ordinary Britons in restaurants. In How cabs. many? How many? I would say at least one in two. I'm sorry, it's an expression I've never heard. Tell me who has said it to you, when? These, and these are where? people that we meet in passing. But and we obviously you raise the question of the, the state of their country with them. And they tell us, yes, we have a tough part, Prime Minister, but she's a little bit pig-headed. She won't be told by anybody. Isn't this interesting? Even the tone of voice you're using is changing from what you used earlier. So good. They just make up their own narrative. Thatcher was not the least bit pig-headed there, was she? She was just strong-willed, perceptive and expert in her craft.